Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on planes. We'll discuss few very basic concepts and I'm going to focus on this particular question. We'll consider equation of a plane which is in the Cartesian form, scalar equation of a plane. And from the equation, we'll figure out what is the unit normal vector. We'll find the distance of the plane from the origin and find foot of perpendicular from the origin to the plane. Now, based on this, we have two practice questions. And one, we have a general question. So the general question is, consider the plane AX plus BY plus C, Z equals to D. Find unit normal vector. Find distance of the plane from the origin. Find foot of the perpendicular from the origin, right? So, so these are three basic questions which we need to answer. To give you an idea, we always, in R3, consider X, Y, Z, right? Now, if you have a plane somewhere here, let's say, right? So let's say, let's say we have a plane here. So randomly, I'm just sketching a plane here. So to find the equation of the plane, what do we need? We need the normal to the plane, right? So, so from here, let us say from the origin, if I sketch a normal, right? It could be kind of like this. This should have been dotted, right? Okay, moving like this, right? So if we know the normal, and if we know the distance from the origin, we can actually find the equation of the plane, right? So, so you can actually find equation of the plane if you know the normal vector and if you know this distance, let's call this distance as D. Since uniquely at this distance with the given normal, we could have only one plane. Perfect. The other way to find equation of the plane is to have uh, uh, three points on the plane. So those three points could give us a direction, right? And then we could actually figure out an equation for the plane. Cross product between the two points will give us the normal, right? And then with the third point, we'll find the equation of the plane. Anyway, that is just to give you a background of uh, what we have learned so far. Uh, so this is X, Y, Z. And that is kind of a sketch which gives you an idea of what we are going to talk about. So we'll talk about this normal distance from origin to the normal um, and then see how to answer these questions, which are find the unit normal vector, right? Distance of the plane from the origin, this one, and find the foot of the perpendicular from the origin. So this point itself, the foot of the perpendicular from the origin, right? So let's see how to solve this kind of a question. Now let's begin with the standard equation of the plane, which is the Cartesian equation or the scalar equation of the plane. And from this equation, we'll answer what is the unit normal vector, what is the distance of the plane from the origin, and we'll also find the foot of the perpendicular from the origin, right? So if the equation of uh, the plane is AX plus B, y plus cz equals to d, then we know that the normal vector is abc, right? That is the normal vector. Now, unit normal vector will be what? Unit normal vector will be normal vector divided by its magnitude, right? So that will give us the unit vector. So in this case, the magnitude is 1 over square root of a square plus b square plus c square, right? That is the magnitude. Scalar multiple of a, b, c. So that becomes our unit normal vector, right? So that is the solution for part a. Right? Let's call this as a, and we have a as this. Now to find the distance of the plane from the origin, uh, let's say b, so if that is the equation, we have to find from origin, which is 0, 0, 0, then the distance d is basically equal to the absolute value of this d divided by 
a square plus b square plus c square clear so that becomes the distance and part c of this question is to find the foot of the perpendicular from the origin right now let us say we have a plane here let's make a very simple scenario right okay let's say that's the plane and uh, let's consider the origin right here and so that is the normal so this is the normal going through the origin let's say and we need to find the the foot of the perpendicular right so clearly if i have unit vector and if i multiply that with the distance then i should get the position vector op right so op position vector should be along the normal right so so along the normal so that is the direction right and the distance is d so it is along the normal at a distance of d correct so so from here we can say it is uh, d over square root of a square plus b square plus c square times that that is that is d times the scalar multiple the normal vector which is this which is a b c right over square root of a square plus b square plus c square clear which you can clearly now see it is what so this gets perfectly squared right so what we get here is d times a b c so that is a scalar multiple the number d here right times the vector normal vector divided by a square plus b square plus c square it does make sense to you so this becomes the position vector p correct so these are the three solutions so once we are done for the general case let us take specific examples which we began with and write down our solution right so the very first one here is a plane which has a normal this plane right so we are talking about 2x minus y plus 2k uh, it should be z actually right x y z equals to 6 right now in this case the normal is 2 minus 1 and 2 right so the the unit vector the first case will be normal which is 2 minus 1 2 divided by its magnitude which is 2 square plus minus 1 square plus 2 square right now that is equal to 2 minus 1 2 and this is uh, square root of 4 and 4 8 and 1 9 right which is 3 right so so we get this as as uh, 1 over 3 of 2 minus 1 2 is it clear right so so we got the value of the normal vector let's write down the unit vector here is basically 2 over 3 minus 1 over 3 2 over 3 correct so that becomes the unit normal vector clear now let's find out the distance of the plane from the origin right so how do you get that distance well distance is equal to this value of d divided by the magnitude of the normal vector so in that case the distance would be 6 divided by magnitude for the vector is 3 right so the magnitude is 3 right 6 divided by 3 so we get 2 units right uh, let me rewrite here that we calculated square root of 2 square minus 1 square plus 2 square is actually equal to 3 right so that is the magnitude of the normal right so we are dividing this by the magnitude of normal to get the distance right 
Now the third part to this is find the foot of the perpendicular from the origin. So, so OP is the foot of the perpendicular from the origin. So it will be unit vector scalar multiple d distance, right? So we know the direction. The direction is along this direction, which is written here as 2 over 3 minus 1 over 3, 2 over 3, correct? And the distance from the origin is 2, so 2 times, right? So, so the, the foot of the perpendicular is 4 over 3 minus 2 over 3, 4 over 3. That is OP. And the coordinates of point P will be this, right? So the coordinates of point will be 4 over 3 minus 2 over 3. 4 over 3. It does make sense to you, right? So that is the solution for part C. Is that clear? So that is how we are going to find this solution. So simple as that. Once you understand the concepts, right? Let's do it once again. For the second example, the values now for us are, we are given this uh, plane which is 3x minus 2y plus 7z equals to 31, right? So in this case, normal is what? Is 3 minus 2, 7, right? That is the normal. Magnitude of normal is what? Magnitude of normal is 3 square plus minus 2 square plus 7 square, right? Which is square root of 9 plus 4 plus 49, right? Okay, so that is the square root. Uh, so 9 and uh, 49 is 58 plus 4, 62, right? So it is square root of 62. So that is the magnitude. So from here, we get the unit vector as the normal vector divided by its magnitude, right? So what we get here is 3 over square root of 62 minus 2 over square root of 62 and 7 over square root of 62. So that is our normal vector. So this is our part A. Is that clear to you? Right? Now let's do part B. So part B is to find the distance of the plane from the origin, right? So, so the distance from origin will be this 31, basically part B. Distance will be capital D, which is 31, over the magnitude of the normal vector. Is that clear? So that is 31 over square root of 62. So that becomes the distance from origin, clear? Third part to this question is, let's call this as C, foot of the perpendicular, right? So C. Now we're looking again into foot of perpendicular from origin, right? To the plane, of course, right? So foot of the perpendicular, basically, the perpendicular from origin O to P will be along the unit vector, correct? Will be along the unit vector and it will be D distance away. You get the idea. And therefore, I could write this as 31 over square root of 62, scalar multiple of the unit normal vector, which is all this, which is 3 over square root 62 minus 2 over square root 62 7 over square root 62 is that clear to you right so that is how we are going to get it now when you multiply by square root 32 31 over square root 32 is 62 is is 2 right 1 over 2 so when you simplify this you get 3 over 2 right Minus 2 over 2 is minus 1, and here you get 7 over 2. Is that clear to you? Correct. So when you multiply 62 
and 31 is 2 times, correct? So you get 3 over 2, right? So that is how you will get the, the position vector. So the foot of the perpendicular will basically be 3 over 2 minus 1, 7 over 2. Is that clear to you, right? So that is how we can easily answer any question based on normal vector, unit normal vector, distance from the plane and foot of the perpendicular from the origin to the plane. So I hope this concept is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments, share your views and look into more videos on this vectors. You will be really uh, amazed to see what uh, we have there for you. I hope you find it interesting and useful. All the best for your time. Thank you.